B2K Infosys provides world-class online IT training, staffing and software testing solutions to customers worldwide. H2K Infosys, how we are different from our competitors. 100% job oriented training, hands-on project work, cloud test lab, resume preparation and review, mock interviews, robust syllabus, one-time fee and lifetime access to classes, access to recorded sessions of live classes. H2K Infosys has won the trust of thousands of students worldwide. For a free demo class, visit us at h2kinfosys.com. So let's start now. Um, do you guys hear me? Can you just uh, can I get a confirmation from all of you that you can hear me? No one can hear me. Okay. Thanks. Thanks, Rashmi. Thanks, Pratima, Shalini. Okay, Sri K Y. Who is K Y? Okay. All right, I got some information that uh, you guys are able to hear me. Uh, I would request uh, other folks also please type in uh, so that I make sure that uh, no one is sleeping in the class. Okay, thank you. Thanks, Madhu. Okay. All right, so uh, we in the previous session, uh, I think we spoke about uh, a list. We spoke about uh, a set, okay, and we spoke about the tree set also. Okay, so those are more or uh, the less. It's kind of a collection wherein uh, you can use those collections in order to add multiple objects to it, and you can iterate through. And uh, the time you iterate, you can even, uh, I mean, uh, do a class cast, and you can access those values accordingly. Okay, so we have seen uh, those examples as well. Okay, the the time when you did a for loop, uh, where is that? Uh, okay, so when you do an iteration, right? So you can even use an iterator also here. Give me a sec. So you can use an iterator and if you, let's say you are using a string here. So for that reason, uh, whenever you use an iterator, iterator dot uh, has next, you say iterator dot next. So you basically iterate through each and every element from the collection, okay? And you have to typecast uh, the particular class, which one you, you want to uh, use it, okay? Because uh, again here, whenever you see IT, uh, ITER, that is you are nothing but your iterator, dot next is uh, going to give you an object. So from now onwards, you'll see a lot of objects and everything you have to cast by, uh, cast to the actual object by uh, by using your class cast, okay? Now, the same thing you'll be seeing in your advanced courses also. So I would request you guys to get more familiar with what is a casting, why do we need to do a casting out here, okay? And in the previous class, we even spoke about, uh, uh, we even spoke about how to order this, right? How to sort this particular string. So the moment you say uh, you, you can use your uh, a tree set, so you can sort it, okay? So there are different ways of even sorting it. There are a lot of uh, other APIs also, but we will just try to understand a couple of other APIs, okay? okay? Now there was a question, uh, all right. Now, before even getting into that, let us see when I talk about a list, okay? So let, let me take, an, uh, take up an example out here. So new, class I'll, I'll just say about uh, fruits collection okay now by by the name itself you are saying that you are collecting a list of fruits why list list equals new array why not list list equals new list or list list equals new um, KY, uh, can you just type in your proper name please I would request you to do that or you want me to call KY to you Keith, oh Keith, okay, <laughs> yeah. Keith, uh, did you miss out the uh, last class? Uh, no, uh, I, I think I did specify in the, uh, in the previous classes about this, but again, I'll just give you an overview of this. Uh, in the previous sessions, we were even spoken about uh, accessing your... Hi. 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 
okay in the previous sessions we spoken about uh, whenever you want to create an instance of a class okay just try to create an instance with the help of the interface okay so it is something like uh, you can say list list and even i have told that list is not a class list is an interface okay so keith is asking me why not uh, we can say list list equals to new array list okay which is not uh, uh, sorry list list equals to new list which is not uh, feasible in java because you cannot create an instance of a interface okay i can say array list uh, list list equals to new of array list okay so i'll just show you a couple of variations here new array list okay this we can do it i just say control shift o and i just import the util package out here i can even say list array list list2 equals to new array list okay i can even say in both the ways all right i cannot uh, say list list equals to list3 equals to new array new list because we cannot create an instance of a interface okay now even i have been telling you from the very beginning uh, that always try to access a particular class with the help of the interface this is a kind of uh, it is an interface pattern okay so it's it comes basically with your design pattern itself okay so always try to access your class using the interface because you know that array list is going to uh, somehow it is going to extend your list interface okay if you see this somewhere down the line it is going to uh, implement your list interface okay i think I missed out somewhere okay so where is that okay you can see here all right so your array list is going to implement your list interface so for that reason you say list list equals to new list okay now uh, here when i say list list equals to new list uh, new array list i can say uh, fruit list right <clears throat> now let's say i'm just going to add say something like uh, public void add fruits i'm just going to have a method add fruits and in this i am going to give uh, an object okay and let's say i want to say obj and let me do one thing just watch closely out here and here i'm just going to say here i'm just going to create a list out here okay this i'm going to create it outside of this class and i just want to say a uh, fruit list dot add add what add of this object okay so what am i doing is i uh, from the let me even create a method out here okay anyways i have already created this so let me say in this case fruit collection of fruits equals to new fruits collection and with the help of this uh, reference dot add fruits what do i uh, what do i want to add i want to add a apple okay so let's say even i can create a, a apple class also i can even add this okay so let us talk about only strings right now i added apple i added uh, uh, banana okay and orange right now if i after adding it i just want to print that so i just say uh, sys out okay and i would, i want to print that particular fruit okay let me say fruit dot fruit list right so i can i could have done it in the same uh, same uh, i mean same main method itself but i i just wanted to segregate that so that i want to say here add fruits itself here okay so three times i call add fruits and at the last uh, when i say system dot order print ln fruit dot fruit list it is going to give me the list of fruits right click run as java application okay run as java application right i get apple banana and orange right now here you are specifically talking about a fruit here right but what happens if suppose uh, as you know this is a client program and i'm trying to add list of fruits to it okay I, i'm just i just wanted to hide this out so i just wanted to add fruits so i added the fruit out here right so now what i'll do is i'll just try to add a integer out here okay new integer of that's a 10 correct 
now when i say new integer of uh, 10 that does d while during a compile time it doesn't give any kind of issues okay but even your runtime at this for this example doesn't give any issues okay but the time when you try to iterate this okay we know that at the time when you iterate this you you know that your fruit okay so your fruit is going to give you a list of fruits but in the list of fruits there is a integer out here right now this will definitely give, going to give you some kind of run, uh, runtime exception which you have to handle it accordingly otherwise first of all the question is why you need to why do i need to give you an access to add anything apart from strings okay or anything apart apart from fruits okay now what am i going to do here is the moment i am going to create an create a collection i want to specify what collection what kind of collection is that okay we'll talk about different things also just try to understand this so the moment i going to create a uh, collection out here i'm just going to say this collection is going to be of type string okay now this collection is going to be type string okay now here i told that i created a collection fruit collection the the type is actually string right now if you can see here uh, let me even uh, take this out so i'm saying here instead of object i'll just say here list of strings and i will try to add the string out here okay so i'll just add a string here okay now if you can see when you say list of strings of new equals to new array list of string the moment you say fruit collection add of string it is okay but the the time when you say add fruit so obviously this is going to be a string so it is not going to allow you to put an integer out here okay so only thing what you can add is you can only add a string out here any kind of string okay this is just a short example even if you just take this very plain and simple out here if i just create uh, an error list out here itself let's say i'm going to talk about this Okay, I'll just give you one more example also, just stay tuned. So if I say public void add list, okay, and I'm going to create a fruit list out here again. Let's say if this is not a fruit list, this is going to be a um, computer list. Okay, now I'm saying all the name of the computer should be in the form of your string itself. Okay, so I just say here computer list okay dot add i cannot add anything apart from strings so if i say double quotes it is okay but if i say dot new of integer okay of 10 it is going to give me a compile time error out here what it says it says the method add string is in the type string is not applicable for the argument integer Okay, so this is kind of, uh, we say this as a generics, okay, we, in collection we are using a generics out here, saying that when you say list of strings, you can only add strings to it, okay. I'll just give you one more example out here. Uh, let's say we are going to deal with a list of persons out here, okay. So let's see if we have person anything as such. So access modifier. Okay, I'll, so I'll take this person, okay. And I'll create an instance of this person and I'll try to push a couple of persons to a collection. Okay. So let me even comment this out and say public void add person. Okay. So this is a method which is going to, I'm going to say here uh, person. So let me import this. Okay, so I have imported the person so that I can use this out here. So person uh, per one equals to new of person. Okay. Now, okay, I created a person here. Let me see. I'll just give a name and an age and SSN. Okay, name, age, and SSN. Okay. Now. I want to create a list with a set of persons out here. So what should I do? I just, I need to say here list 
person okay person list equals to new array list okay and person out here that means you're saying that whenever you're creating a collection of person you are specifically talking about a person you cannot add anything apart from a person so if i try adding list person list dot add now if you can see here when you say add automatically person is coming out here because in gen uh, when you have declared this that point of time you have given a generic information saying that this list is going to take a list of person out here okay so i say here add of per one okay what if i say new string it is not going to take it even though if i say person list dot add double quotes it doesn't take only one thing it takes it only takes a list of person okay so here if i say person p2 equal to new person j2 whatever it is so here i just need to say dot add p2 okay so what happens basically when you use it in this way right now if you remember in the previous session uh, we have used a list let's say if i'm not using a uh, if i'm not using a generics out here okay so let me just copy the entire stuff for now comment this out and use this out here okay so uh, just imagine that i'm not using any generics out here i'm just using my plain simple collections out here okay now in this collection i added uh, person i added uh, i can even add anything else but let's be more specific we are only uh, going to add a person list here okay now how do you iterate this right so for in order to iterate you know that you can use a for loop right i don't want to put that for loop uh, okay so let's say in this person uh, there is age name and ssn stuff and all and i want to access those things right so i in order to use a for loop i just say for int i equals to 0 i less than person list dot size okay i plus plus and i say here um, sys out okay uh, otherwise i say person list dot get of what i right after even getting saying get of i what is the written type of get of i written type of get of i is an object out here okay so if i say object out here all right now i cannot say object dot any of those methods which is present in your person i want to get the age of this particular person right so i cannot say object dot get age that we have already seen that right so in order to get that i have to say in specific uh, person out here and I have to cast this particular object to person out here very plain and simple which we have already seen now I'm able to access this one okay so if I say sys out I can even access all the age of all the persons out here right so if I just try to access this uh, static void a vast virus database okay, has been So updated. from the main method, I'm just calling this one right now. I'm just commenting this out. All right. So the moment I call this method, so right click run as Java application. Okay. Right. I got 30 and 30. Right. So because I've given 30 here, 30 here. Okay. Now, what did I do here? Uh, I got that object and that object again, I have to cast to a particular object class right so this is a kind of a it's an operation which takes some amount of time to me okay first of all if there are a bunch of object my uh, performance goes down in this case okay but when I use a generics let's say let us go back to generics right now okay so let me comment this out and enable this line for me okay so I did enable this line right now I can still do, do the same kind of for loop here. Even I can use enhanced for loop. Uh, I hope everyone knows what is an enhanced for loop, right? Now here in this case, uh, if you see here, uh, when I say get of i, 
initially when i was not using a generics it was giving me an object but now the written type of your get of i is nothing but a person here right so if i say here person okay i have no problem i don't have to cast this particular a particular object to its own type reason already we are using a generics we are saying the list person equals to new of array list of person okay there is no need of having a casting out here okay first of all no need of casting second i cannot it is not going to allow you to add anything apart from your person itself okay so you say here that i'm using a generics and i'm just using a generics to make sure that during compile time also i'm making sure that the object which i'm trying to add is of that particular type okay now the same thing goes for i say person per in person list i directly access that okay i just say sys out per dot get h or name or whatever it is okay so sys out if i say sys error uh, there is we can even say sys error also okay so this is a static variable out here so i can just access it directly okay so if you see the error when i say error it is going to give you something in the form of your red lines right click run as java application right so in eclipse whenever you have anything as error it is going to print in your uh, red lines okay this is just to uh, tell you as an output that okay this is an error all right so if you want to say anything in specific if you want to put that in a catch block and if you want to uh, add some sops you can use your errors out there okay um now this is what we spoke about a generics uh, when we talk about uh, maps also we'll talk about the same generics out there okay uh now the question is uh, there was a question last time how we have even seen how to sort a string right now there was a question which popped up in the uh, previous class how do you uh, sort a particular object okay so let us see that right now in the meantime let's see if i have uh, cover up everything out here okay let me do the uh, do one thing before that let me cover up uh, the map what is a map okay and then we will get into the sorting out there okay uh, now if you see uh, we have spoken about the we have spoken about list right in list you basically have a list of objects all right and uh, you you can have a, a, a particular kind of object in that right in a list also you can have uh, multiple objects doesn't matter right it is again growable by the way every object uh, i mean every class in your uh, collection class is your growable okay now we'll talk something about a map now what is a map mapping map is nothing but it's a combination of a key and a value pair all right now in case of your in case of an array list it is it, there is no combination it is only one object per index okay but in case of a map it is something like a key and a value pair right so in order to get a key and a value pair what do you need to do you need to say map map equal to new hash map all right and in that case you just say map dot put one of one 2 of 2 3 of 3 4 of 4 okay now in case of your array list if you add uh let's say let me put it here itself list list equals to new array list i just say here uh, list dot add One, two. Okay. So, what will be the output of this? I hope everybody can answer this. The output output of this is going to be one, one and two. Okay. So, it's something like you add a new object to the list, and you are not going to overwrite this particular object which is already present in your list. Okay. So, this is how basically list works. Right. Now, what if you do the same thing in your hash map first of all let us see the output first and then we'll talk about uh, more something about the hash map okay map so i just say sys out 
and map. Okay. Uh, right click run as Java application. What do you get? You just get four, one, two, three. And now if you can see here, uh, in case of an array list, right? If I just print the same array list out here, this so out list. Right click run as Java application. I say one, one, two, the same one, one, two came up over here. But here I said one, two, three, four. Four first came, one, two, three, okay? There is no order in your map, okay? So you cannot specify, you cannot say that. Uh, the, the order which I have added, the same order, I'm going to get it as an output, okay? So just note it down. Now, the next concern, I say one, Okay, so let me just rule this out. This is not required just to give you a heads up that what is an order out here. Okay, one, one. So this is the key, this is the value. You can see here, this is the key, this is the value. All right, now what if I uncomment this? Now if I run this, right click, run as Java application, my one, the one which I added was been overridden by hello out here. Why? Because the value which you gave, you have, and it is going to keep a unique key, okay? The key cannot be duplicated, all right? It is very similar to like your primary key. So this key can never be duplicated out here, all right? So if I say null, I can even use a null, I can even use a null value also, okay? So right click, run as Java application, Okay, so the key null null. So if you can see, as I said, it takes only one uh, one key. So here, even though you add multiple key uh, multiple keys, so it is only going to take only one key, and it is going to override the existing keys value with the second one. The way you have overridden here. Okay, just, just keep this in mind. Now, how basically this maps map performs? All right. So it's very important to understand what is the use of a map out here. All right. Now, with the help of the map, what I can say is, uh, I am creating a list of person. Okay. So I'm just saying here, I'm creating a list of person. Now, what is the use of map, which I'm going to show you right now. So let me copy this and copy this. So I created a list of person out here, right? Uh, remove this, remove this, okay? Even remove this. What do I need basically is I need a map of, uh, let's say object, okay? Object map. Now in this object map, what am I going to do is, I am going to put this key as a person right here, Okay, uh, let me say person list and the value is going to be a what? Can anyone tell me what is what uh, the value is expected out here? I want to say here person list. Okay, so why, why did I add a map and add a, a person list out here? Okay, I'm just telling you the functionality of a map. Why do you need to use a map basically? Okay, now here when I say a map here, right? I am able to use a map and I'm just saying map.put a key and a value. Now key, I can have any kind of object here in this case, I'm just using a string out here, okay? I'm saying a person list, right? Now if I create a new class, let's say fruits, finish, I just say here public string name. Let's say private. Okay. So right click uh, source, generate getters and setters. All right. And let me have a constructor also.
this dot size equals to size this dot name equals to name okay now what am i going to do i'm just going to create a list of fruits also right the way i created a list of person i'm going to create a list of fruits also okay fruit fruit one or let's say apple equals to new fruit so this is going to be your name and size okay. name is going to be apple sizes let's say 10 okay i'm going to create one more fruit orange okay size is 11 okay now these two fruits i want to put it in, in a list okay so what am i going to do is i'm just going to say create a list of fruits And this is your fruit goes here. Fruit list. And the same fruit list, I'm going to put it out here. Okay, copy this and paste it. Right? Now, if you can see here, when I say, uh, usually what happens in practical, in your application, you want to send a list of objects okay list of objects to to another program right so i can just say here i'm just saying put off key and a value this key could be anything let's say here in this case i'm using a string and the value could be a list of anything or the value could be any kind of object the same object now if you can see i'm using an object map in this object map i'm using a list a person i can use a list of fruits i can list use a list of any kind of object out here okay so here in this case i'm just commenting this out okay and if you just print this uh, the object map right click run as java application you again get the key out here this is the key and the value you know it is a personal list so you will be not getting in the proper way unless and until you override the two string here okay now how do i access these uh, these values in order to access the object i instead of using an index it basically takes the name of the string itself name of the key itself okay so here in this case i just say here sys out object map dot get off person list okay now i know the person list is actually a list so let us if i run this application what's going to happen right click run as Java application, I'm going to get a list of persons out here. Okay, so this person, as we have not overridden the two string method, it is not actually giving me the proper values. Okay, now here you can do anything. Now, if you want to access something like uh, the list of person, I have to say get of. Uh, if you see, it is saying get of person out here, uh, get of object out here. Okay, so it is saying get of object because we have not used generics. If I use a generics, I'm going to get a list of persons out here. Okay. So here in this case, I did not get a person because I'm just saying get a, pers get a person list. Now, what is this person list? Person list is nothing but your list of persons. So I'm just going to take this. I need this as an output person list. Okay. Equals to one. Now, if, if you see here at this point of time, again, I'm getting a compile time error out here. Okay, why? Because the one which I added in the map, what did I add in the map? I said object map dot put of key and a value out here. Okay, now what is this value? This value is top of type list. Okay, now here it is, but the time when you say get of something, okay, it is going to give you an object. Now, how do you? cast this particular object to the list person type can anyone can everyone type in the comment chat uh, what should i write here in, in the brackets should i say person or what should i say here
आदिल अमीर फ्लोरेंस कीत कीर्ति लीडिया मधु मधु मेघलता कैन यू गेस दिस टाइप इन व्हाट शुड बी द आंसर आउट हियर पर्सनल लिस्ट ओके आई गॉट पर्सन पर्सनल लिस्ट uh adil i think i missed out couple of chats out here so if you guys have any questions please type in the questions again so that i can discuss uh, those things i think my type chat window got stuck at some point of time okay so i got a answer person 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 uh what if i say person out here okay now what is this what is this person list it is not a person right it is a list of person i'm just giving you hints out here i still am i'm expecting uh, the correct answer out here uh okay if i say list okay okay so list actually worked out for me in this case all right usually uh, when you talk about generics in particular you say list of person okay because you are basically talking about a list of person so you can use your generics out here also okay you can use a generics to cast a particular object to a particular type okay so here in this case i got a list of person and here again i can just say for a uh, person p e r in person list 1 okay i can access the person dot get each okay so this is how i can use my map all right okay now when you talk about how to iterate a particular map right so we have already spoken about how to iterate a particular collection i mean particular array list so we basically use an iterator right so if you want to use an iterator in case of a map how do you do that you basically use map dot entry set dot iterator so which will give you a iterator on that you can basically iterate the complete map okay so let me just copy this okay so you can there are different ways of doing it you can uh, i'll just show you one by one okay so you in order to use an iterator you just need to say java.util.iterator so which is the map uh, map for uh, map for us out here so this is the map for us so let me take this map and paste it out here okay so here i just say i just got the map here i just say map.entry set dot iterator right so when i say talk about an entry set it is going to give me a list of map.entry okay so uh in your map okay if you see this map there is a class inside a map all right sorry there is a class inside this interface all right now whenever normally in java if you have a class inside a class that is nothing uh, that is known as your inner class okay now here in this case you have got a map inside that you have got a uh, got a class here okay that is you basically say it is a entry set okay now the output of this particular entry set is nothing but it is going to give you a map.entry.key map.entry.value okay for each key it is going to give you the values as well so this is one way of iteration you can iterate using your object map.entry set.iterator okay there is one more uh, one more way of iterating i can use a for loop also out here HTK Emphasis provides world class online IT training staffing and software testing solutions to customers worldwide H2K Emphasis how we are different from our competitors 100% job oriented training hands on project work cloud test lab resume preparation and review mock interviews robust syllabus one time fee and lifetime access to classes access to recorded sessions of live classes H2K Emphasis has won the trust of thousands of students worldwide. For a free demo class, 
visit us at h2kinfosys.com.